You're like a circle that floats around me And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me You're blessing me every day I was down with an illusion But now I shine with your reflection on me I'm getting back up on my feet to mind their business in this season. It's not easy, God, but somebody has to do it. Listen to this. All of my business belongs to me. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes, it does. All of my business belongs to me. Come on, type that in. Say all my business belongs to me. Come on, say that. All of my business belongs to me <laughs> this is so pretty i love it all of my business belongs to me so mind your business tell a neighbor mind your business yes tell a friend this is everybody your business. tell your co-workers tomorrow come on and sing mind with me your business. One more time. All of my business. All of my belongs business. To belongs me. to me. I feel that. Y'all, I might end up singing it tomorrow in church. Blessings. All of my business belongs to me because it's my relationship with God. So all of my business belongs to me. Blessings, uh, everybody. Ain't got nothing to do with you, so stop worrying. All of my hey, business hallelujah. belongs I felt to glory on that statement. me. And this is why God said, pray for your neighbor, not mind their business. Mind your business. This is why Come God on, tells y'all, mind, 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 mind your business. Mind your business. If hey. you're this song, Come on. can you please hit that love button? <laughs> <laughs> None of my business of my belongs business. to belongs. you. Oh, I just switched that around in the atmosphere. Come on, sit that. I want y'all to share my this video. Belongs to you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. None of my business hey. belongs to you. <laughs> Oh my, yes, oh my. none of my <laughs> business belongs to you. I just want to make y'all so laugh I'm sing it with a little bit. Voice and say, mind your business, mind your business, mind your business. Come on, wait, from side to side. Mind your business. Millie Rock, do whatever you want to do. say, mind your business. 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 Stay out of mind. Stay out of mind. Stay out of mind. Stay out of mind. Let me stop, y'all. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Um, this video is coming to you live from 478. Uh my city and it is coming to you all because i feel as though it is necessary uh that i speak to this uh chatter excuse me guys that has been um chat that has been going on um, in in the kingdom of God and I invite you to share this this video please um, because I believe it's going to provide clarity to the body of Christ as to where we are and how God leads each leader which I really believe needs to be respected so do me a favor I'm going to exit out one second but share this video I will be right back Okay, I'm back. I had to cut that little YouTube. Uh, I had to cut that little YouTube clip off so that uh, I can speak without interruptions. It is my prayer that each and every one of you have had an awesome, amazing day today. I know today is Tuesday, and I know that this uh, video is an impromptu video, as most of my videos now are. Um, 
Um, again, I, I invite you all to share this video on your pages because I believe specifically those who are senior leaders need to hear this message. I know that uh, the church has been definitely caught off guard with how we should handle uh, different administrations and gatherings in the midst of a pandemic. And there has been so much debate and also disrespect that has occurred amongst the ranks. People that are in ministry are judging those who decide to assemble and those who don't decide to assemble. Uh, they have something to say, you know, just in general. At the end of the day, um, we understand that everyone is entitled to their opinion. How However, if you have not led a flea to a dog, you need to have several seats. And I know that some people, you know, it's, it's been a minute since I have had to uh, address some things in the, in, the, in the way that I address it. And I'm going to be as gracious and as loving as possible. But I want to submit to the body of Christ this one thing that there is uh, a, 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 endemic i'm not even going to say a pandemic i believe is 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 to the extreme of an endemic that is occurring in the body of christ and it's a contagion that really needs to be addressed and is this spirit called gossip is this spirit called backbiting it's this spirit called fault finding I find that those of us that are truly apostles in the Lord's church and truly prophets in the Lord's church, truly pastors in the Lord's church, that we should find ourselves so busy handling our business that we don't have time to sit and talk about who's doing what, who's not doing what, and offering our two cent because we are not a part of Bank of America's Keep the Change pr program. And I'm going to say this quite frankly, at this time in my life, Life, people's opinions and people's perspectives that are not God, that are not a part of the counsel of God or those who are over me as in leadership, their opinions and perspectives mean no more to me than the dirt that clings to the cracks of my shoes. And I'm here to address some stuff because there were some things that were stated that are that is false, okay, regarding the awakening ascension and because I am one that believes in integrity, because I am one that believes in excellence, because I am one that believes in being accountable for everything that is done. Those of you who are there, I would definitely like you to speak up. Uh, there were things that were said uh, regarding that no one in the conference had on a mask pause for this cause that is absolutely false as a matter of fact you could not enter into the conference venue without one and if you didn't have one you had to pay for one the second thing that we did, because I believe in protecting God's people, uh, God gave me the go ahead. He said, I want you to have this conference. I asked my leadership, what were they sensing? What were they uh, uh, feeling from the Lord? And they gave the push and the okay. And so that's all that matters. Let me say that. Number two, not only was there a requirement you could not enter into the sanctuary without a mask, but you also had to submit to a temperature check okay before anybody walked into that assembly you had to have your forehead scanned i had two uh, administrators over our sanitation station not only that you had to sanitize your hands not only that Every night, the inside of the sanctuary was sanitized. We sprayed everything with solution that would destroy any type of virus or bacteria. Not only that, you also had liability release forms. I have some of them right here in 
my possession you had to sign this which uh which my lawyer um advised that everyone that was in attendance signed this and some people were mad because they felt like they only should have signed it for one one time but no each time you come into an establishment whether it's a nail salon or whatever people have a right to protect their identity and so every person that attended they had to sign this liability release form each night not only that we also had security officers and they were not outright if you look at the videos if you look at the pictures if you look at uh and i'm gonna say this you know what kind of irritates me a little bit is that the main people that uh won't step to me woman to woman or man to man and ask the question people would rather watch they would rather watch your activity watch your ministry watch every move that you're making and then turn around and have meetings with their leadership team centered around things that they don't know let me say this people of god a lot of y'all, some of y'all, y'all think folks are carnal. You think folks are out of order when they start calling you out. But everybody who knows Apostle Sierra LaShawn Jones, I am beauty, but I am also beast. And, and I'm telling you something. Some of us, you just need to learn to leave alone because I'm telling you, some of us will call you out to the carpet. And I'm going to say this. There is a day coming where I know we laugh at that song. You know, uh, I, I will knock you out for the Lord, you know, and, and, and all this other stuff. I know that, you know, we laugh at that stuff. But there are some people out here that's really about that life. And I'm not saying that I'm going to knock somebody out for the Lord. But what I am saying is we as a people who claim that we are mature, we have to come to the place where if we don't have the facts on something that we learn to shut up i never speak to things i never speak to situations until or unless unless i have the full information some of us need to do what the song says and that is mind our business if you are a leader and god has not led you to open up your doors or to have services god bless you you are following the leading of the lord for your ministry but as for me and my house we will serve the lord now i would rather apostle sierra the conference awakening ascension being discussed if you were to share how people got healed how people got set free how people got delivered how god moved but i guarantee you people that are always critical who are the main ones struggling with only probably five to ten people in their ministry folks hanging by a thread because they're under the auspices of control these are the main ones that can't sit down and see God for themselves and hear a word for themselves for their own ministry. I want to say to each and every pastor, leader, apostle, whatever you potentate, whatever you call yourself, keep your mouth off of people. Number one, that you don't know. Number two, that you don't have a relationship. Number three, that you can't discern because they're outside of your metron. Keep your mouth off of folks. Mind your business. I said this before. And I tell all my people, if it ain't about ascension, I ain't got time to have conversations about it. People in the church, this this spirit of gossip, this spirit of slander, this spirit of opinions. Let me tell you something. God is going to begin to deal with some of these folks. Y'all, I'm telling you, they may not be well known. They may not because some of y'all, I'm going to say this. The stuff that you say about who you think is so little, I mean, I'm going to say it like this, a little Apostle Sierra Jones, I may not be on no major networks and no major platforms, but baby, there's signs and wonders that follow my life and my ministry. And some of y'all, the way that you try people like us, you would never discuss those who you respect, those who you respect. And I'm going to say this, that's another spirit. It's called respecters of persons. We need to get it together. The only reason why I'm even taking the time to address this is because it has come to me so many times. Go look at the pictures. There were everybody up in that gathering had to have on a mask. Now, at some point, some people took off their mask. You want to know why? Because it's hard to breathe. 
I had someone ask me the dumbest question I have ever been asked. And you want to know what that is? Why was none of the speakers in a mask? Tell me how you going to preach in a mask. Please tell me how you're going to pray in a mask. Please tell me how you're going to effectively minister the word of the Lord in a mask. You cannot do it. You cannot do it. If you have are a follower of ACLJ Intercontinental and you don't like what you see on my page, I promise you, you <laughs> can remove yourself from following my page you don't have to keep up with the joneses i am a jones all right you don't have to keep up with the joneses mind your business mind your business you cannot preach in a mask. I entered into the sanctuary with a mask on, but after a while of that heat, I had to take it off. We were separated from the people. Those that were ministers each night, we were separated from the people. We social distance as much as possible. And let me tell you what is so powerful. Not one person, I have not received one call about anybody having an outbreak of COVID-19 or anyone experiencing the symptoms. I believe that when God is truly with you, that he protects what he promotes. I'm not saying that we don't use wisdom because we use wisdom and as much as possible, we did everything that we needed to do to make sure that the people that were in attendance, that they were protected. So I want to encourage every private conversation centered around those who disagree with the moving forward with the conference. Your faith may be small. But baby, my faith is big. The angelic, the supernatural power of God that follows my ministry causes my faith to be very much so increased. I trust God in everything that I do. And while many may not agree, at the end of the day, you didn't call me. You didn't choose me. You don't pay my name one of my bills. There is absolutely no, no weight that outsiders hold. So I'm addressing this because I want everybody to understand that this past weekend, August 14th through the 16th, was a historic move of God. God moved. I'm telling you, even I have testimonies from children that experienced deliverance. I, I just got a video notification yesterday from one of my babies who's not even six years old, who found a burgundy feather from a very high ranking angel. I'm telling you that the spirit of God moved through that place. So I'm telling everybody instead of talking about COVID-19 and what you think should have did, what we should have did and what we shouldn't have done. How about you run and tell what God did? Talk about that. Talk about the miracles that took place. Talk about the healings that took place. Talk about the deliverance that took place. Talk about that. Run and tell that. Put that in the status. Put that in your, your, your ministry administrative team meetings. Talk. If you're going to talk, have your facts straight. Each night, no one could enter into that sanctuary without a mask. The people had on masks. I encourage the body of Christ during this time. Use the wisdom of God. Protect yourself. But let God have his way. We were, in, we were within the guidelines of the state of Georgia's protocols. The mayor of my city was aware. The governor of, of, of Georgia was aware. My influence and my, my name alone in this city requires me <laughs> to follow protocols. Again, we had security officers. And real security is supposed to be camouflaged. They're not supposed to be outrightly seen. Why? Because if someone was to come to that event and decide that they were going to show off, 
They wouldn't know who to pick. We had several men. I had several officers undercover. Let me tell you something. When high-ranking officials go into a certain place, it's places, it's not all the men that you see in them, in them beautiful black or navy suits that are CIA agents. It's some that's undercover with regular t-shirts on and jeans that that if you act up, they will deal with you. All across the board. We dotted every I. We crossed every T and it was for the protection of God's people while we assembled. So I want to tell the people of God tonight, if you hear anything contrary to what I have said, and the proof is in the pudding. Look at the pictures that were posted. Some people at different points in the service took their mask off. And I understand it's hard to breathe. It got hot up in there. Right? But not one person has walked away with COVID-19 from that gathering. Not one person. We did temp checks. We did. We made you. We made sure that everyone had on a mask upon entry. We made sure everybody's hands were sanitized. And I know everybody's not going to agree with this address. Again, you're entitled to your opinion. You, you administrate your ministry and your life the way that you see fit. But as far as me and my house is concerned, this is my page. This is my ministry. I'm the, I'm the queen of this castle and I'm the only one that has a right to speak to it. All right. So I'm providing an answer. Y'all share this video. If God has given you a vision or something that he told you to do, do it against all odds, but use wisdom and protect yourself. That is all I wanted to say to you all. Those of you that were there, you know that this is true and you know that I am a woman of integrity and I am a woman of excellence. I would never jeopardize lives, including my own. God told me to do what I did. He had his way and that is all that matters. But keep your mouth off of folks that you don't know. If you were not there, let me tell you something. Observation is totally different from revelation. The kingdom of God does not come with observation. Some of you, you might, God, somebody should have nicknamed you Looky Lou or Lo uh, Looky Leo because with your looking self, you so you 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 so busy looking that you missing. <laughs> I'm gonna get off this broadcast before <laughs> I go in because <laughs> God does not want me to go in. But I'm telling all the Looky Lou's, all right, with your looking self. <laughs> Look for the blues clues and make sure that you got your facts right before you open up your mouth wide. One of the the thing one of the things that I cannot stand is a fault finding spirit. People who are uh uh you know pink panther. You know you just you just love looking for for you you just Snoop Doggy Dog. You just love going to graves looking for bones. When you should have enough business of your own to attend to than to be worried about somebody else's ministry, what they're doing, and what you don't agree with. Find your business. <laughs> Get you some business. Get you some real ministry. Seek God. And he will reveal to you your purpose. I am not afraid of coronavirus. I am not afraid of any anything. If God tell me to do something, I'm going to do it because I know that I am protected. I'm going to use wisdom. I have friends who are dear to me, who I love very much, who contracted COVID-19. We had to pray them through. And 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 if she's one of them is on here. She's still on here. Bishop Tier told me, Sierra, please don't let nobody up on you. We need you. We love you. And, 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 and you got to live. She begged me with tears in her eyes and I cried too because I love her just that much. So we use precautions for the rest of this year. I'm not really doing any, any traveling. I've canceled a lot of engagements. I've only gone to engagements that God told me I need you to go. My faith is high. I'm sorry if you don't live like I live. You may not be called the way I'm called. 
And I'm not saying that in pride. But y'all got to stop being fault finders and just looking for something to discuss. I say, God, some of these people need to work at Winn-Dixie, the beef people, because I promise you, all they discuss is petty beef, petty stuff. When we've got so much going on in the body of Christ that needs to be addressed and needs our attention. I love y'all, and I just want to set the record straight. You're hearing it from me. Everybody in there had on masks, including the musicians. I've got pictures to prove it. No one could enter without having a mask, having a temp check, sanitizing their hands, social distancing as much as possible. And I'm not even going to respond to the other people that's commenting. I knew that there would be some dumb people that would come on here that would be under the auspices of a spirit. You know, we, we understand that we're praying for you. We pray that you get delivered, you get healed, you get hold, and that God opens your eyes. You may not understand this broadcast. Again, you don't have to follow me. But I'm going to say what I got to say, and I'm going to let it be, and we're going to move forward. I'm looking forward to 2021, what God is going to do. And I'm telling you. I will, I promise you, I might make a shirt. Run, tell that. Run, tell. And yes, yes, the angels of the Lord are definitely around. There are supernatural manifest manifestations that follow this ministry. I am not just a regular schmegular person. And you know what? I, I'm really, I'm going to start praying and asking God to start dealing with folks that got me in their mouth. Because I normally don't. I normally don't even pray in that vein. But I'm tired of folks. I am I am tired of folks. And I'm going to ask God to start dealing with some of these folks, some of these people. Because it's ridiculous. Leave folks alone and let them do what God has called them to do. Mind your business. He ain't called you to that. You don't understand it? Keep your mouth closed and pray for him. You don't agree? Keep your mouth closed and pray for him. You got a problem? Keep your mouth closed and pray for him. But mind your business. Ness. God moved. And you know what? Every ounce of warfare that occurred, it was worth it for the move of God. I'll pay the price with my life for the move of God. I'm not going to stop. Y'all petty folks don't. Let me let me say this. Y'all don't move me. I don't even see you. Y'all don't move me. Again, I'll say this. Opinions don't mean any more to me than the dirt that clings to the cracks of my shoes. Two cent, take that to Bank of America, keep the change program. It ain't paying my bills. <laughs> it, it ain't it ain't increasing my 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 lifestyle. It ain't it ain't doing nothing for me. So it does not matter. Dr. Sue says the people that mind don't matter, and the people that matter don't mind. Y'all better take some lessons from Dr. Seuss. This is an ACLJ address. I love y'all. I'm getting off of here. Y'all have a wonderful night. And remember that you heard it here first. Mind your business. God bless.